Days of Our Lives Gaby's Captivity Release Johnny Accuses EJ of Fake Baby Sympathy Spoilers Gabby Chick Drama Erupts Cherry Jimenez's Real Life Birthday Party Offers Clue Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of Our Lives Spoilers reveals that Channel Demira had to stay overnight for observation, just as a palladium, so Johnny Demira pledged to recoup some of Channel's effects from home. Channel advised Johnny not to let Paulina Price in her sanitarium room, so Johnny stood up to Paulina in the staying area and pushed her to admire Channel's wishes. Paulina gave Abe Carver updates on Channel's confinement and the fact that Channel was condemning her mama due to the radiation exposure. Abe tried to put in a good word for Polina when he visited Channel's bedside, but she snapped at him. Abe took that as his sign to back off, so he just sat with Channel for a bit and kept her company while Johnny was gone. At the dimmer man's on Friday's day's occasion, E.J. Demera spoke with Rafe Hernandez over the phone and pushed him to find Melinda Trask so she could hand over the black book. E.J. was willing to move forward with the impunity deal, so Rafe set up Melinda following a taco run and dragged her down to the police station. Melinda was skeptical when she heard the impunity deal was passing, but she agreed to hand over the black book that would clear Gabby Hernandez de Mira's name. The catch was that Melinda wanted the new deal inked, sealed and delivered before she surrendered the book. At Statesville on Friday's occasion, Stefan de Mira assured Gabby that she was coming home moment, but Gabby plotted to believe it despite Stefan's explanation. Gabby wondered why EJ would lift a cutlet to help either one of them, but Stefan acted like he induced EJ that Dimmer family fidelity came first. Indeed so, Gabby knew there was further to the story and remained suspicious. Stefan got Gabby to fantasize the details of her imminent captivity release to make it feel real. Rafe ultimately showed up and cracked a joke to indicate that Gabby was indeed a free woman. So she fell into his arms and offered her gratefulness. Moments laterally, Stefan pulled Gabby into a passionate kiss and ignored the no-touching collar rules since she was being released. Back at the dimmer man's on Friday's day's occasion, Johnny broke the news to EJ about Channel losing the baby. EJ tried to offer sympathy, but Johnny snapped at him and asked if it was indeed real. Since EJ was preliminarily against the idea of Channel keeping her future child, Johnny lashed out. EJ assured Johnny that his sympathy was legal and suggested that when his son was in pain, he was in pain as well. Johnny accepted that EJ was authentically showing compassion, so he embraced his father. At the sanitarium again on Friday's Days of Our Lives show, Johnny set up Abe sitting by Channel's bedside and took over comforting her. Channel said Johnny could still make his flight to Los Angeles and start work on the movie set hereafter, but Johnny did not watch about any of that and just wanted to be there with Channel. At the spectator, Eric Brady told Nicole Dimmera that he might be leaving Salem since he demanded some time to accept that he was Unt, Jude Dimmera, Aka Jude Brady's father. Although Nicole hoped that Eric didn't go, she also understood if that's what he'd to do. Eric refocused out that he hadn't heard back on the resumes he transferred out, so his departure was into done deal yet. Eric also sang the Itsy, Bitsy Spider to settle Jude down in his stroller, so Nicole watched the warm moment and suggested she'd have to flash back that trick. Subsequently, Eric set up Paulina looking distrait at the cantina, so he heard about Channel's confinement and latterly spoke to Abe about it. At the dimmer man's on Friday's day's occasion, EJ told Nickel about Channel losing the baby. Nickel participated how agonized she was for Channel and Johnny before she took Jude upstairs. Next, Melinda ambled in and thanked EJ for the impunity deal. Melinda was especially thankful since it meant there was no way for EJ to avenge when she told Nickel that Eric was Jude's father. Although EJ wondered why Melinda would do that, she refocused out that he stole the DI job from her. EJ shocked as Nicole walked in the room since Melinda was ready to unmask the sap. Days of Our Lives spoilers say EJ will have to suppose presto and figure out a way to stop Melinda's loose lips, so stick with us for further prognostications on his strategy. Days of Our Lives spoilers Gabby Chick drama erupts. Sherry Jimenez's real-life birthday party offers clue. Days of Our Lives spoilers reveal that suckers might be wondering what the future holds for Gabby Hernandez, Demera following her captivity release. Gabby will obviously spend plenitude of time with Stefan Demera, but that's not the only way she'll enjoy her freedom. Gabby has no way been the type to just sit home and be a doting Demera housewife. After being boxed up in Statesville for so long, Gabby will no doubt be eager to get her career back on track. 
Of course, day spoilers say Stefan may have to steer Gabby down from any intentions she might have about reclaiming the Demira throne. That's because Kristen Demira is in charge now, and she could fluently unmask the sap about Stefan's hot association with Ava Vitali if he doesn't keep Gabby in line. Gabby may find it confusing and indeed, a bit suspicious if Stefan urges her not to go after Demira CEO status again. Still, Stefan could fluently argue that would force Gabby to have a jam-packed schedule. After spending so long piecemeal, Stefan may suggest Gabby should choose a career path that leaves further time to concentrate on their relationship. That brings us to an indication that Days, Sherry Jimenez offered in a real-life birthday party print, which she lately posted on Instagram. As a way to celebrate Jimenez's 37th birthday and her day's debut in a dream part, she had a Gabby-themed bash. That included balloons that spelled out Gabby's name and a Gabby Sharp birthday cutlet. Naturally, that Gabby Sharp cutlet seems like a huge hint about the direction Gabby's career is headed in. Gabby will obviously push for control of Gabby Chick again, so that could lead to some erupting drama if Kristen is reluctant to put her back in charge. Stefan could get awfully nervous if conflict breaks out between Kristen and Gabby so he'll be redundant motivated to keep the peace and move Kristen to yield. Our days of our lives prognostications point to Gabby discovering Stefan's trees in one way or another, but he'll try to help that exposure for as long as he can. Days of our lives spoilers say Gabby and Stefan's marriage will be put to the test, so stick with us for updates on her response to the cheating news and so much more. Weekly days of our lives spoilers July 1-5 to reunions, exits, and Demera fireworks. For the week of July 1, July 5 on Days of Our Lives, spoilers concentrate on emotional reunions, potentially heartbreaking farewells, and summertime schemes. Gabby is eventually out of Pentonville. After all, she no longer has to pay for a crime she didn't commit. Obviously, she and Stefan partake a joyful reunion. Who could condemn them? They've been separated for a long time. Latterly in the week, Gabby finds Stefan and EJ squabbling is then fighting, blackmailing, and selling Stefan and EJ's dereliction mode. Surely, Gabby remembers that. No doubt she'll come to her hubby's defense. Will that continue if and when she finds out about his evanescent lapse with Ava inquiring minds want to know? Eric thinks it's stylish for him to leave City. So far, his leaving is simply a conception. He's transferring out resumes, and if he gets a photography gig away, he'll presumably make the move. Unfortunately, this conception is now a reality. Effects are too painful for him to stick around, so he tells Nicole that he's leaving moment. Dispensable to say, she's stupefied. The question is, how stupefied? Stunned enough to do commodity about it. Everybody involved in this baby switch escapade has Nint paid with a second of jail time. This includes Melinda who lately entered full impunity as long as she handed over Clyde's precious book that was demanded to free Gabby. Sure, it took EJ getting Melinda fired to do it, but it's okay. Kristen is now considering Melinda for a crucial part at Demera. Meanwhile, Jada informs Steve of the consequences in abetting in Clyde's escape. What will she tell Steve? She needs to tell him that he's an idiot for taking all the blame. Ava pays no consequences for her part, but there's the fewest chance Steve does. Come on. Eventually, the teens continue to scheme despite being busted at the hop. Or should we say at the Salem Inn after the hop? Tate shares a secret summer plan with Holly what would Theresa say if she knew that her boy is the one coming up with the plans and not the so-called bad influence that she claims Holly is. Thanks for watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.